today. Hello YouTube, this is Pliskin TCG, and today I, David isn't here, this is just Sean today, I am opening up some Beyblade Burst products for you guys. I know, different content, right? So, I'm going to fully admit, I don't know anything about it. This is a little different setup, so if you get the top of my head in frame or any bit of my face, I apologize, or you might get a little bit of a face reveal. Doesn't matter to me. So, who knows? I haven't played Beyblade since uh, I think it was the end of Shogun Steel. And then I bought two burst tops when it first came out. And I'll admit that I was not the biggest on them when they first started. But as the lines progressed, I've kind of come around a little bit with some of the videos I've seen. And I think that's mainly due to like the variety in the designs because some of the earlier designs were a little bit generic. So I've got seven bays and a launcher, but the launcher that I have I'll probably throw in to a video with one of the bays. And then I have a stadium here, and I picked the stadium up at Ross as well as the majority of these bays. And I think one of the bays was at uh, Burlington. So... Because I didn't want to spend a whole lot on the bays yet until I knew if I was fully sold on the Beyblade Burst toy line. So, so today I'll be opening up the Riptide Blast set. But you might hear me just refer to it as the Shark. But... I think the bay is called Fornius F4. So I'll grab my knife and get to it. So I don't have all my old bays because I let a lot of them go to the same friend's brother that got the majority of my old Bakugan. And it was mainly because of the burst, actually. But, you know, you know what? Here we are. Here we are. I'm back at it with burst. So, so here we are. Here it is. Here's the packaging. Here's the inside of it. Here's the packaging on the inside. Here's a better look at the back of the box for you guys. I'm not sure much of oh, excuse me. I'm not sure much of what the new stats are or do on these burst products. So let's see, I'm sitting at a different angle from how I usually am. So here I'll you guys get a good look on it at the frame here you can pause to read it if you'd like and then take a look at it at myself seems to be high on defense and weight and low on agility and attack and iffy on burst and stamina with stats of two but weight and defense are at nine and ten respectively the rest of those stats are at zero. So, here's the top right there. Oh, that went flying well. And it's the one that usually cuts into these things. So I'm going to have to get used to opening things on camera myself. But I'll get the hang of it in no time. I'm usually the one 
behind the scenes. Okay. Here's the launcher. It looks like a shark. That's pretty neat. I don't know if it's a good launcher. I I couldn't. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have to use it. Here's the instructions. the rip cord aside and then oh they set oh man they put everything and they attach everything with these little things must have been having a lot of theft okay okay so so there's that out of the stadium here. Okay, so how, and this may make for some good content here. I don't even know even how to put a burst bay together. So I should probably look at the instructions, shouldn't I? Okay. All right. There's that side of the instructions. Here's this side of the instructions. How does this work? Okay. So, okay, so you just attach and then you like turn them together. That's different. I remember the original bays had a tool, assembly tool, you had to use these, okay, so yeah, there's like a certain way I think it goes, on there, let's see, supposed to click. There we go. Is that it? I think is that it? Is that how it goes together? I think. The metal seems to be a little loose on there. But I mean, it is supposed to burst apart, right? But I mean, it seems resilient, so I think I got it. Oh no, I'll mess with it a little bit off camera before I film the other burst bay videos. So I have a little more experience with putting burst bay blades together. Way does the rip cord go in? Okay. Okay, so it goes in this way by his mouth. All right, I can do that. So it says left and right spin, but I think this one is right spin. So it should go this way, All right? I think so or not because that doesn't stay on okay and now we know and knowing is half the battle except I'm not G.I. Joe alright so we'll go this way like this in that slot and now it stays on okay there we go and then three two one let it rip that did not land in the stadium, but it works. Okay. Man, it's been... Oh, it's been a good long time. I'll get the hang of it. Okay. Okay, I got this. Let's see, so this goes on here. I know this is probably making some of you Beyblade veterans out there 
like, go, oh no, what is he doing? Okay, so this is the Fornius. I gotta say, I love the design, the shark design on here, the paint applications. The gold and the silver and the blue on the black, it looks really nice. I think the blue is translucent plastic. The metal is, I'd say, about the same quality as uh, Metal Fusion up through Shogun Steel, which is good. Yeah, I think I actually have those bays near me. I have not all of my old bays, but some of them. Here's an El Drago. Here, I think it might be a little bit customized. I I don't have the knowledge of Beyblade that I quite used to. To know if it's like custom, custom built, but. thing together. I'll get the hang of putting burst bays together. Does it go this way or does it go this way? Where does it go? Ah. There we go. So the Fornius F4 is actually larger than the old Drago. So let's bring in. Forget which Pegasus this is. I think it was. Not Galaxy. It was one of those. Uh, one of those high end ones. I forget the exact name of it. But it's closer in size to that. Here's another, here's another El Drago. So let's set those aside. And just, just because the launchers are different as well. So that is interesting. And I do know, I don't have any of like the, the classic Beyblades from like way back in like 2002 or anything but I do know for a fact that the launchers are different from those as well because even like Metal Fusion and all those were different so, so let's see if I can get a good spin on this on this Fornius because we gotta get one good spin before the video is over right? So, three, two, one, let it rip. That went right into the gutter. And I gotta say, these new stadiums, they're too small for me. I had no Drago Stadium back in the day. That's what I liked. So, three, two, one, let it rip. There we go. Yeah, definitely not an attack type. What type is this? It is a defense type. Okay, so not the best launch on it. But there it is in action. So, let's see, just, just for curiosity's sake, how does one of the legacy bays do in the new stadium? I'm just curious. Okay, not bad. And let's throw Fornius in the fray. That did not work at all. Let's see, I'm getting the hang of these new ones. I'm not used to the the launcher. I know that's what they all say, right? Always blame the new controller. Knocked it out of the park, but it's just a little Okay, so there you guys go. There's some Beyblade action 
for you guys on the channel. I don't know if anyone's been clamoring for it since our name is Pliskin TCG and Beyblades or Bays are technically spinning tops, but I know Beyblade and Bakugan tend to have a lot of overlap in in the fan base, so I figured, what the heck. So, anyway, on that note, uh, if you liked what you saw, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon if you want to never miss out on one of our videos, and this has been Pliskin TCG, and we, or I, or David, we'll see you in the next one.